down, and then they'd be able to just go right on over it. Just like, um, so we wouldn't rush it all, or... Well, let's see. We can give, we can give uh... We'll figure out a headphone mix or whatever, and try it that way, and if it's just not happening, then we'll go to the drone. Like, I would save that as, like, a last resort, though, because it's never... You're never going to get the feel of a rock band just playing drums by yourself. <laughs> it's going to be all square and bland and all that stuff, and... No, then you do overdubs. But basic tracks, ideally, you want to be in the same room together and have bass, your first guitar, and your drums. And what you're trying to capture is the best drum and bass performance you could possibly get together. Because no matter what, it's never it never feels the same when the bass player comes in and over. If it's not working that way, then we figure out how to make it work. And if, it, if you're really, really comfortable the other way, then we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that. But. Give it a shot at least, because you might quick? you might like it better. No, playing together as a band. Oh, uh, word. Done. Sounds up. different game than just hearing a click and play, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like the light is like not gonna be there. Especially and I mean, for three piece punk yeah. and rock. And it's not that it can't sound good. Like obviously like yeah there are records out there that are made that way and they sound good but you know the difference when you hear the real shit. There's ash where I stood It's a hard loss of addiction That I bring back if I can Yeah, but this time, this time, can you just mirror what the bass is doing? 